So here's a quick tip on making your own uni joiner feeders. You can buy them from Kato, but why spend the money when you can do it yourself? After all, each piece of Kato track comes with uni joiners already. So you can just convert these to your own feeders. Quick and easy to do, so let me show you how. So taking one of these joiners out is pretty easy. I turn it upside down and then just using a flat screwdriver blade, just give it a hard push. And you can see there it's come out. Um, it's longer than a normal joiner, as you would normally see on a normal piece of track, but that's just because of the size of the uni joiners. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder a piece of wire, a feeder wire, onto the bottom of this. And I'm just going to, to do that, I'm just going to use one of these clamps just to hold it in place. It sort of works as a sort of a heat sink as well, which is quite good. Okay, so the first thing I always do is I take some flux and just put a dab of it on that joiner just to make it easier to um, for the solder to flow. Now, I've already pre-cut my wires so I'm going to be using um, orange and blue. I normally use the orange one for the um, wire that goes to the block detectors and then the blue that goes to the main bus. It just makes it easier for me to see which is which. Um, so let's just get this wire stripped. Um, probably the best tool I've ever bought. These things are brilliant. So you can see I've just stripped that tiny bit of the end of the wire off. And always give this a quick twist. So with this, I also put some flux on the wire itself. Then the soldering iron. Then with the soldering iron, I normally just put that into Bit of flux as well just to get it right and now just turn the tip of the soldering iron so it's got some solder on the bottom of it bottom of it and now I'll just put some of that solder on the bottom of this don't need a lot just a little dab of it is all you need and I do the same for the wire I just put a dab of solder on that as well just enough just to coat it. And then next step is to just gently touch the soldering iron there and leave it for a bit. Okay, clean, clean that. And now if I take that out, there you can see there. Let's get this, sorry, get this out the way. You can see that piece of wire is now soldered onto the bottom of the feeder and what I do is I just bend it into 90 degrees so it looks like that and I get the uni joiner and holding it so that the uni joiner is facing the top so that's the top of the uni joiner I just feed this wire through it put it down like that Now just take the metal joiner, push it in and clip it in place. And there we go, you have a feeder joiner.